What's up everybody, Drumming Gaming here. So my review for Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, I think I'll just cut right to the chase. Hats off to Guerrilla Games for delivering a fantastic open world game that I've been absolutely addicted to for the last, what is it, like nine days or something like that. It's weird because it started off completely differently. People who follow me on Twitter might have seen that after like five hours of playing, I had quite some stuff to critique about the game. And I do still want to point that out, there is stuff to critique about the game. And while I generally walk away very positive from it and I was super into it, like I said, uh, um, yeah, it certainly doesn't go without flaws, you know, and maybe it was because of the fact that a lot of the reviews that I had seen up to that point had given me some of the wrong expectations by praising many different aspects of the game, like for example also the story. That's what I still somewhat disagree with. So maybe it's good to actually just get rid of the negatives before I start going into why I really love this game. Um, and the negatives mainly do come down to the story, like I said. Now, this is why, right? So Horizon Zero Dawn is an open world action RPG. You play as Aloy pretty much hundreds of years later in this very same world where it's been completely gone to shit, you know, nature has over or just overgrown it all, claimed it all, um, where there's these massive robot animals walking around in the world. And it's up to Aloy to find out exactly what happened and what caused the world to go to this certain state. Of course, there's also a massive evil in the world, which is kind of a cliche, but in general, it's quite an inter interesting concept, right? It's a cool given, um, and, and therefore I was very interested, interested to find out what exactly did happen. And while I think that some of the plot revelations are interesting, and I was quite surprised by them um, at the same time you know I yeah I, I think you should still play the story for this game don't get me wrong play through the story you're gonna still enjoy it but in general a lot of the storytelling is done through simple character uh, uh, character interaction and and uh, dialogue right so you have this very similar to the Witcher and to Fallout dialogue system where a lot of it simply comes down to having conversations with other people and I just didn't find those very natural like the voice acting isn't is always top notch you know, Aloy herself, uh, of course, the voice acting there is good, and some other characters in the world also have good voice acting. Others, it's kind of hit or miss. Like, they will have their, maybe sometimes they're being way too serious, or they're overreacting, trying to be funny in a world or in a situation where you really shouldn't be acting all funny like that. Um, their animations are also somewhat clunky at times, like they move around we really weirdly, where, where all of a sudden, yeah, that they'll just look at you with a really weird face, and it just feels out of place. It certainly doesn't help, there are also some bugs where some some characters will literally pop into the screen, you know, just randomly, and that's of course very unnatural and very stupid, so, um, they're really like, I did have stuff to complain about, and I didn't think the story was told in a very amazing way, it's something that a lot of open world games really suffer from in my opinion, and Horizon Zero Dawn there was no different. Uh, also, I guess if we really are talking about the negatives, one more thing, the controls and animations weren't always top notch, I guess. Um, you know, I, I think they were they were good, they were sufficient, but sometimes you're just trying to jump up these set of rocks or something by constantly spamming the X button, sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't work, it's a little dodgy, it's a little, yeah, iffy at times, and um, I think that controls and animations could have been a tiny bit more smoother, so maybe that's something for a sequel to still improve on, but anyway, let's get into the reason why I really love this game so much and uh, that's the thing these things these negatives I just talked about really stood out in my first few hours of playing the game that's where it was still really based on the story the game didn't really open up its world yet it starts off quite slow and so that's why I was maybe critiquing it so much but um, yeah as soon as you do really notice what this game is really about which to me is the gameplay you start getting addicted to it and here we are 50 hours later nine days later I've gotten my platform trophy I've been having an absolute blast and yeah what can I say it's just very very enjoyable so um, the game sort of like takes quite some inspiration I would say from other open world games out there this is Guerrilla Games first time at attempting to do something like this and so I thought they looked very well at games like Far Cry for example where a lot of the looting systems and the upgrading systems are very similar you know you can constantly pick up branches to craft new arrows or you'll be trying to kill some animals and get their get their skin or something like that to maybe um, upgrade your pouches and your capacity so you can carry more potions and carry more ammo and stuff like that. Um, it's just addictive, right? You want to pretty much keep on doing this, keep upgrading yourself to become the ultimate badass in the world and to take on all these robots and you gradually get better. You'll find new modifications for your bow and arrow that makes them more, you know, that, that, that gives them more damage or some animals will be maybe weak to, say, fire or, or, or freezing effects or something like that. So, you try and really use those um, 
you know, those things to your advantage, right? You really try to improve that, and that's what's very fun. And the combat itself is very fun at the same time as well. Like, it's just so satisfying, uh, especially later on in the game when you start, you know, coming across these massive creatures like the Thunderjaw and the Stormbird, which, uh, yeah, absolutely insane battles where really you're just having an absolute blast. It's super hectic. Um, they all have their weak spots, right? These robot animals, um, from small to, to big, they all have their certain weak spots that you can really quickly or easily find by simply scanning them. And you'll see there's a couple of parts that you can hit to do even more damage. And so that's what you'll be, what you'll be doing. But uh, like I said, the spectacle there is just so epic. The moment you hit him in a certain weak spot, the sound effects, the light effects, the little things that, that, that just give you that satisfying feeling of battling them. Um, yeah, that's what was done so well. And afterwards, when you finally actually beat one, uh, it's just, you know, like I said, satisfying really is the word to describe it. You get your loot, of course, at the same time as well. If you're playing on the higher difficulties, this game can prove to be quite challenging. Uh, and so that's why I loved playing this game. Now, at the same time, it takes place in an open world, like I said. And um, also there, like I said, it took some cues from Ubisoft open world games. You will have your hunting ground challenges and your bandit camps that you need to take over. Your collectibles, your tall necks, which are pretty much the same uh, 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 variant of like Assassin's Creed towers, but this time they're actual, you know, animals that you have to climb so you can unlock a part of the world and see exactly what you can do there. But it's also fun to do. I really had a blast with it. The hunting ground challenges where you're constantly given a certain different task to do um, and can get pretty much medals to... Um, you know, get bigger rewards, get more XP to level up. There's a level cap of 50, you're trying to m make your way towards that. And actually, the moment I reached 50 was the moment I beat everything in the game, so that came uh, came out very well there. Uh, the bandit camps are somewhat average. I think the human enemies still are the least fun to battle, simply because they're human, and all they require is some headshots to take them down, and that's it. And the same kind of counts for the collectibles, I guess, but it was fun because there's also a platforming element to it, which is really similar to games like Uncharted. It's very automatic, I would say, uh, and just fun to do. And like I said, yeah, doing the tall necks was, was really cool. Just a, an epic experience sort of to climb those and unlock the part of the world. And the cauldrons, which really are those underground tunnels where um, you'll see a bit more of the society as it was when it went to shit, like I said. You know, back in the days, uh, still looking very futuristic there. Um, I'll just leave that for you to play because the cauldrons really are something special. that are really fun to play. And the graphics, of course, finally to get into that, look gorgeous. This is one of the best looking open world games out there. I wouldn't quite... I'd call this the best looking game on the PS4. I've seen some people say that. I don't agree with that myself. I think the game looks gorgeous though, like I said. But even if I look at something like Batman Arkham Knight, that game looked very well at the same time as well. And I don't know if I found it to be quite, you know, uh, if I find this game to be quite as impressive as that one was, yeah, it's really similar in that way. So I don't know if I would call this the best looking open world game. It certainly is a gorgeous game though. So uh, yeah, definitely a reason if you want to show off what the PS4 can do to other people. So uh, with that being said, overall, I've been absolutely addicted to this game. Like I said, here we are 50 hours later, have done everything there is to do in the game. I feel done with it now. I'm not, I'm probably not going to be really touching it anymore, but that's fine because for the last 10 days, um, all I've been playing is Horizon Zero Dawn, and I've been addictive, I've been hooked to it. I would highly recommend it, especially if you like open world games, if you like action games, if you like maybe games with some RPG elements and stuff, like Far Cry does. Uh, this is something that really looks at those games and that tries to do something slightly different while still taking the best out of everything that's already been done, and that's really to be praised. So, while the game still has some stuff to critique, I had an absolute blast with it, and I would give the game a 9 out of 10. So, with that being said, let me know what you think about Horizon Zero Dawn. Have you played the game by now? What did you think of it so far? Uh, and then with that being said, leave a quick like to support my channel. Helps me out a lot, so thanks a lot for watching, and hope to see you again next time.